torsions occur around one AP axis. So there's just one axis running through the sphenoid and the occiput. And what we find is that the sphenoid and the occiput are rotating in opposite directions around that AP axis. So let me show you how that would look. So I'm going to make this our axis. Here's our sphenoid and our occiput. And again, remember we're always naming it for what's going on at the base here. So here we have, let's say for example, we're going to do a right side, excuse me, a right torsion. We have the sphenoid rotating this way and the occiput rotating this way. So they're rotating opposite ways around this one axis. Why do we call this a right torsion? Well, what we want to do here is if we put a point directly on the other side of this basal sphenoid, we would see that it's rotating to the right. So again, we're calling this a right torsion. And how would this feel? Well, if you remember, 